This is Dabu7. We have individuals involved with this whole Wells Fargo scandal saying that the mainstream's not covering it how it should be, that this is a full-blown scandal. It's unbelievable, outrageous, that heads should roll. And, you know, this is Warren Buffett's favorite bank. And they've been busted in the past. And they're now revealing that the bank had charged some 800,000 customers for auto insurance that they did not need. Some still paying for it. Could be some of you out there. This was apparently a huge scandal. They're saying it's a full-blown scandal. And that it isn't just a corporate debacle. They're saying it has caused real human harm. It's reflective of a system that Americans feel is rigged against the little guy. And sadly symbolic of a culture that puts short-term profits ahead of creating sustainable value for share owners. Everyday families have suffered and tens of millions of hard-earned dollars were stripped from unsuspecting Americans, many of whom are struggling just to get by. And in the end, share owners ultimately suffer the long-term consequences. Now, they also demand that the Wells Board must immediately disclose these circumstances to the investors, which, come on, how much do you think they're going to say unless they have to in a court of law? But this is where this is going. I've been talking about DB Bank manipulating the metals, getting caught for it, getting a smack on the wrist and walking out. Now, Wells Fargo caught up in a situation like this. You know, the people have a right to be upset. And people need to be educated on what's happening here with some of these banks. When you roll by and see a large group of people sitting outside protesting in an area like this, there are reasons. And uh, people are being affected. Some of you may be affected. Some may not even realize it because they've been overcharged in certain cases grossly. Somewhere along the line, somebody caught this and this has been exposed and their excuse is, oh, well, they weren't going to say anything until they were ready to start refunding people. But more information here at this link. Make sure to tune into Underground World News Live on Dabu 777, 10 p.m. Eastern, Friday nights. We're going to be discussing updates to this and many other events. Hope to see you guys there.